Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Peglin run and we got a new patch. So that means one new orb and two new relics. I'm gonna start with one of the two new relics and I'm also gonna start with a bunch of other relics because uh, I'm playing modded anyway. I wanna be chilling and just doing whatever I want. So let's say what we begin with. Weaponized envy, whenever you heal us, health, real, real damage, no all attacks, get plus one damage or against refresh shield, refresh the board on every roll. We're gonna go with plus one attack on non-crits, especially because there will be less crits on the board because this is is uh, Peglin difficult, um, Pegboard or whatever it's called. Anyway, so the new orb, Jack Orb Lantern. It's a 1-2, I mean, it's a 1-2-2 two, two right now, but it's a 1-2 and it has the effect of instead of exiting the Pegboard, this orb will return to the top of the Pegboard one time. So it's got the portal effect. It's gonna like go through and then appear from the above. And then we also got a new relic. Here we got a Pumpkin P. Uh, each shot a random slot becomes a portal that can teleport orbs to the top of the pegboard up to three times. Uh, I'm gonna be calling this pumpkin P because that letter is a P in Greek and uh, don't listen to our saying that it's a pie. And uh, yeah, let's actually start shooting. Let's see what this looks like. And this is the portal by the way, this is what the portal looks like. So if I somehow magically go into this spot, which is borderline impossible on the stage, we will get to see that and also targets whatever I want. You saw the portal thing? Did you see a portal effect? Boom, both are dead and a scythe. Very quick kill and let's go with another Jacob Lantern because why not? That is literally the build today. And uh, yeah, let's go and path our road ahead. Ooh, double fight, very nice. That's gonna be a bunch of relics going in. Uh, ooh, wait, I can go this and this or this and this. Same thing, so I prefer the event path. So let's zigzag here and then like this and like this. Yep, that, that seems correct to me. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, I think we're good. Let us begin. And let us begin, good. Let's go and see what we get here. First event is a fight, of course, of course. And uh, let's take the shot and assassinate. At least this is the easy, quote unquote, easy fight. And theoretically, we should go down the middle. And let's go in our loop. And down the middle again. Let's go in our loop. And the right, let's go in our loop. <laughs> love, I love this. I love this. I love the new orb. Now, for the relics I decided to go with, I decided to go with, um, you know, Eye of the Jewel just so that I have more choices so that I control better what we're gonna gain. Second thing is, you know, the Pumpkin P because um, it's obviously a new relic, which I want to do, especially because this is like a portal, a portal effect, so it adds to the whole idea. And in general, I enjoy this as an idea, like, I really enjoy the new orb and what it does as a passive. Let's see what the upgrade does. Plus one, plus two. Classic upgrade path. Instead of exiting the pegboard, it will do that twice. Okay, so it's actually not only classic plus one, plus two, but it's also passive. I always enjoy it. Like, I'm against plus one, plus two, but I am... As long as you also add a secondary effect, then I'm okay with plus one, plus two. Let's go on and uh, take a shot. Nice. Let's continue onwards for our first relic here. Now, the last of the relics I went with, uh, the pegboard will contain additional crit. Might as well. Let's go here. Uh, is ambiguous. Nope. I, I don't accept what just happened. I'm gonna go play again, and we're gonna go yes. I'm not gonna go left there. Forget it. You, you can just forget it. Kiss your uh, kiss your uh, opinion goodbye game. I hope I'm gonna get the same thing. I was hoping I was gonna get the same thing. Resets. What the sh what 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 shot did I take previously that went so bad? Nah, whatever it doesn't matter. I I mean, honestly speaking, crit is obviously helping. Uh, reset is better than crits because my crit damage and my reset damage is the same. What is happening? I don't pop the bombs, please. I popped a bomb already, which is pretty bad. And we got an assassination. Very nice. So I was saying, I was talking about the what relics I chose and why. I chose the Ambiguous Amulet and the Inconficious Inc Ring because they seem to combine a lot very well with this orb, pretty much. So that's why I went with it. Very simple explanation, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty simplistic. I, I do enjoy seeing the orb in its best uh, possible scenario because, let's be honest here. Yeah, okay. Uh, first of all, this is not my first run. This is my second run of this orb and my attempt to play this. Uh, I obviously died in the act to fight again. You know, the elite fight where a thousand archers come to you. Yeah, this, this orb, as you see, is not doing that much damage in general. So, as long as you cannot one-shot everything on that stage, you will die. <laughs> and I did die. <laughs> and I got salty about it and blah blah blah. And I decided to do another video on this. Because I do enjoy the orb itself. I do enjoy the pumpkin pie. It's like an insane idea. But I don't enjoy the game killing us. So I decided, you know what? Let's actually mod a bit more into this and become a bit more powerful. Because 
I mean, this is a challenge mode too. Like, I'm, I'm not picking orbs. I'm not picking a build. Oh, we got Critomals. Critomals got nerfed, by the way. And this is new. Critomals got nerfed. It is the following now. Activating multiple crits, increase damage per peg by crit damage minus regular damage. Now, what does this mean? This means that this item right now is completely useless to us. Like, completely, completely useless. It only is useful for this one. And it means that as long as I shoot this specific orb, every single crit I do will increase the damage it does for crit damage by plus one. Because four minus three is one. So this is like... The first crit is going to make it do 4 damage, the second crit is going to make it do 5, the third is going to make it do 6, so it's nothing, like, it's a joke. The, the game, the, 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 the Critomals fleece got destroyed, but, but, if I have an orb like Orb or nothing, you know, if I have an orb that's like a 0, 13, or the crit orb that's like a 1, 10, then every orb you do adds another 10 damage to each peg hit, or 13 damage to each peg hit, so if you hit like 3, three uh, Critomals fleece, every single peg you hit, a uh, peg you hit with an orb or nothing is gonna be like 39 damage per peg, which is insane. So this, uh, like, Critomals fleece is now specifically for crit builds, otherwise it's borderline, who cares. This steals is 10% damage. This, by the way, is a nerf for a million damage builds and it's a buff for crit builds so ah, you take a bit of fun away but you give us a bit more power for crit builds so ah, ah, i still disagree with the fact that we can no longer get millions of damage but whatever safety net orbs start all the orbs start with five pegs worth of damage eh, this is also very mediocre but i can take it because it's new i'm gonna take it just just because it's new I'm sorry for the delay there on choosing, but I just wanted to analyze the whole idea of what was happening. Let's continue with the path the way we have laid it out. And uh, yeah, I think we can go on. We got the safety net. Oh yeah. <laughs> Instead of gaining 10% more damage flat. Obviously, the safety net is going to be less than 10% more damage flat. So definitely not a good choice, but whatever. I wanted to see it. Red spoon. Scyther. I really enjoy the, the awesome thing on the new orb that I do enjoy is the fact that it somehow avoids and not it somehow it literally uh, avoids let's actually not pop that bomb right now let's try to go into this nice that's a free blink it literally avoids the hit the crit in the pit because there is no pit to go in as you see you get more pits that you can go through every single shot so I really enjoy this I really enjoy the fact that if you have to hit something that's very low for example I want to hit that bomb right I can throw it at the mom, knowing that it's gonna loop around and appear from above and then still do some amount of damage, right? So, I, exactly, like, for example, let's say the reset is in the corner and you don't actually want to go there. First of all, let's see what the level up is, plus one, plus two. Uh, three times, okay, that's the only difference. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go with uh, the low levels, because this is plus one, plus two, which is plus... Uh, this is like plus 33% uh, damage and this is like plus 50% damage while here we literally got plus 50% damage on the top and plus uh, double damage on the bottom so we're gonna we're gonna increase all of our uh, we're gonna increase our average damage instead of get trying to get the god shots and we're gonna get the god shots later uh let's uh, let's just take the shot so yeah I, as i was saying this reset for example is a trash reset right but with this orb, it's not a trash reset, because I can throw my orb in there, hit the reset, then even if my orb goes down the pit, it will still appear from above and then start bouncing, as it just did, right? It just hit the reset here, went down the pit, and then appeared above and hit a couple of orbs. So th that's that's just awesome, in my opinion. And I really enjoy that that is now a thing. I mean, that's the thing. It's not only the teleport effect that is uh, worthwhile mentioning, right? I mean, the teleport effect, yeah, it's a smart effect, but anybody could thought about it. But the fact that how it interacts in this specific game is what excites me. The fact that, you know, you can hit a reset and then when you go up again, it will start bouncing a bunch. That is what excites me. And look at this. It's going to go down. If it goes into this, it's going to do another loop. Nice. Let's go. It hit another reset. Let's go on. Let's go into this again, maybe. Nope, but we still had another bounce to go through, and that's it pretty much. And we did 300 something damage just because the orbs loop again and again and again. It's the reset and then loops up again and starts going through the whole uh, thing. Up, oh, we it went down, but it's okay. And we found a Morbid Orb. We found a Dog Orb. <laughs> we found another Crutomalus games like Crutomalus, bro. Crutomalus, you gotta take the Crutomalus. <laughs> Crits refresh the board. Meh, let's go with heal every time we refresh. Maybe that's gonna protect us from the Act 2 fight. Yeah, maybe that is. Healing in general is what saves you from that fight. And we got an elite fight for free. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is also... Uh, that's literally why I went into this area anyway. Like, I'm chasing events because in hard mode, you have a chance to roll. Let's not forget that there is a loop incoming. 
I love it, man. I love the fact that we're looping through, man. Look at this. Now, maybe it's a crit. No, so close, though. So close. Come on. It can go in this one. No, it didn't. Bomb is. If it hit the crit, it would have gotten a kill. So sad, but it doesn't matter. Let's loop to loop. Let's go down, please. Vroop, vroop. Let's go up. Again to the same one. <laughs> same area. Vroop, vroop. And frontline is toast. Very nice. These guys are attacking. This guy's about to attack. Maybe we can assassinate him. Maybe. Let's go for... No, what a bad shot. But it's still gonna appear over here. No. No. Uh, so sad. So sad. Let's try this again. Maybe it's gonna slide correctly. Nice, it did slide correctly this time. Didn't hit the reset crit, but it's okay. It hit the reset and now it went into the middle. Very nice. That seems like 150 damage shot to me. And when I say that, I mean I'm also blind. You know, everybody knows I'm blind. Uh, let's go for the reset here. And it's most likely gonna propel us into the same self again. Nope. We went down the middle and off to the hit. Let's assassinate you to the right. Let's go into that reset area over here. Oh, come on. We actually got the portal effect going. Very nice. Um, This is really bad. Like, I need to get rid of a couple of things in front of us. Whoop, here we go with big damage. Come on. Yes, we did enough. Nice. And this guy is most likely going to get hosted too. Maybe bonds like this. Perfect. That's gonna loop the loop here, but it doesn't matter. We got the hit that I wanted in. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna go here with a healing orb. It's literally the only orb that matters if you want to make sure you're not gonna die. So let's get a duct orb. Reset activate nearby pegs when hit. Fair enough. And more damage. Resets activate nearby pegs. I enjoy this. I also enjoy the echo chamber. If I do 250 damage, it's like 20 damage. Ah! 25 damage. Now nah, let's go with resets. Activate the run things. Why not? Let us continue. Okay, attacks deal plus 10 damage to plants. Useless. What? <laughs> Useless. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. These are plants and they are gone. Ding, ding. Let's go for a crit. Now the awesome thing here is that it's gonna go up again. Literally. Hit the crit down the pit. No longer exists with this orb. Because the pit is still a damage. I mean, you can still do the voom, 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 voom and go down, but you understand what I mean. Let's go here. Let's throw away the healing. Nope. Let's go here. Take the shot. Down the pit. Nope. Again. You see? I did hit the crit. It did go down the pit, but I still did enough damage for it to matter. Uh, both resets are in a trash position. But the good thing is, I can still open up... The Look at this. I mean, would this be possible with any other orbs? I don't think so. Not from the current ones, at least. Boom. Look at this. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. I love it. I love this new orb. I love this new relic. It's it's awesome. The only thing that I don't love is that they destroyed my kid. The crit's almost... I mean, if you're a crit build, it's better for you. But if you're not a crit build, it's destroyed. Bye-bye. <laughs> Upgrade an orb. Let's go with the healing orb so it no longer it's removed. I think this permanently removed from your deck after use is stupid. It should just be a 1-1 one, one, and then a 2-2 two, two, and then a 3-3. Three, three. It shouldn't even have the... I mean, the, the thing that says that it gets retained is good because sometimes you might miss the shot and then you will lose your healing. For some reason, I was sure that it was going to be the Minotaur. Whoop. Got a crit. Go down. Why does he only have 600 life? You should have like a thousand plus. Is this not supposed to be? I mean, a thousand plus might be a bit too much. Hundred damage. He's incoming. Let's slide this down. That should hit. Nice. I got. I didn't get a crit, but it's still hundred plus damage. Let's go. Are we gonna get Critomolus as a trace again? By the way, if I find uh, Overwhammer, I'm not gonna be able to get it because obviously I don't have. Come on, hit this reset. I don't have any. Hit the uh, crit. No, 450 though. I don't have anything that actually attacks. Loop loop de loop. I really love the stage now, man. They changed the stage and became so much better, man. One change and now, do you remember when we were saying Minotaur fight, worst fight, and now boom, we got an actual awesome fight. Now only the castle stage is left to to do this to get the same treatment. Aha! Hit the crit down the pit. I don't think so. Kaboom! Easy. And we're gonna get the Bold Orb to be able to counteract the insane damage that we're gonna take from Act 2. What do we get here? Attack game plus one damage for each crit on the pegboard. 
which right now is one, right? Yeah, right now it's one. And if I hit the crit, that's it gets removed. I'm gonna go with just plus one, plus one on literally everything. I think that is the play. Let's go onwards. I like how relics are also unearthed here. Now we can even heal after combat. I like how that relic, the one that says plus, plus, plus one, plus zero for as many crits on the board, is nerfed just because of the fact of duplicate norb. Let's duplicate level two. Just because of the fact that we are playing in harder mode, so the, the relic itself gets nerfed. Uh, we target the boss. Oh, that was auto-targeted. Did you see that? Like, uh, it was already pre-marked. Okay. Ooh. Well, we still went down the pit, though. But we tried. But we tried. Let's go hit the crit. That's gonna send us off to the bottom. Come on, hit the crit. I mean, come on. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. 129. Very nice. Yeah, this elite's gonna be very easy, especially if you think about the fact that um, we can target whatever we want. So yeah, there's that, I guess. Can I go to the left for once? I'm trying to go from the left from the beginning of time. Boom, and boss is toast. Very nice, and let's off to upgrade the norm, hopefully. I like how that guy was like, no, ho, ho, we're gonna try to kill you. Uh, Necromancer is complete trash. I'm not gonna take that ever. So, seal conviction, I can no longer discard. Or not Matroshka. Should I go Matroshka? How much damage do these things do? It's a 4-5, four, 4-5. Five, four, five. Yeah, the, I mean, this is gonna lose... Um, at level 2, Matroshka is worth it. At level 1, it's gonna make it a 1-1. One, one. So... Yeah, I think I want Matroshka. Seal Conviction is obviously busted, as always. But I think I want Matroshka. And then after getting a couple of level ups, I will start doing a bunch of damage. I think that's the play. Also, Matroshka in general is more fun. Once again, Seal Conviction. Eh. Eh. Now let's go with Matroshka. I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. Now the first thing we need to do is definitely level up the Bold Orb. Because, you know, Bold Orb is um, right now gonna need to get damage. Let's reroll here. I want to reroll into the two, two damage orbs whenever I get the chance. Hit the reset. Hit the crit. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Whoa, vroom. Nice. I mean, I'm not doing that much damage, but still. I just realized, because I have two orbs now... I mean, each one of them has a different count, right? This went through once, that went through once. Okay, this does not have... Yeah, okay, each orb has its own counter, but the, the hole that they go into do not have the same counter. And as you see, the damage has propelled into the stratosphere here for the level 2s. So yeah, it, Matroshka was definitely a good choice for the level 2s. Not for the level 1s, but for the level 2s, definitely. And now I need to increase my damage, by the way, because the final boss was the wall, as far as I remember. So, can I open the map while the shot is going? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, we got the easy fight. Cancel the fact that I said that we will actually need that. We don't need anything. Uh, crits don't matter for the level 1 orbs, so who cares? I'm gonna go down the drain. Whoops, de doops. Hit him for nothingness. As I said, the, um, the base orbs did get pretty much nerfed, but the others did not. Come on, go down. Nice! We get a loop with a bull orb. Let's go up to the left, please. Hit the crit. Yeah, 300. Let's go. Boom! Easy enough. Okay, I don't want any of these. Skip it only. Let's see where we're gonna go. Here and here, most likely. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do prefer events over fights. So let's go the left path. And uh, I guess I do 1, 2, 3 against 1, 2, 3. It's the same thing. Might as well go left path. We already started left. And hope for the best. Whee! And I even heal when I hit the walls. Okay, what is this? Get 3 bricks or fight. Obviously, we're gonna go fight here. <laughs> I like that it glitched for a second. Really enjoyable. Oh, we what a what a crazy bad shot. Also, why did I not shoot towards the left? I should always shoot towards wherever the loop is. So gotta keep that in mind. Got almost all the bombs. Okay, seems like even if I get a, literally every single bomb, I will get hit hit here no matter what I do. Yeah, by the way, the portal is on the left, that's why I shot to the left. There are two bombs missing, and once again, even if I pop them all, it's just a hundred damage. So there is no hope of not getting damaged, as this guy is gonna blink here, and this guy is gonna blink there. And yeah, this is not one of those fights where even if you do god shots, if you don't use piercing, you will get hit, no matter what you do. No matter what you do. Okay, let's let's hit here, as it's pretty much the same, and let's try to open up the path for the bull orb. I needed to hit the reset. Oh, good, nice, that was a lucky shot, by the way. And bye-bye. Still haven't gotten hit once yet. I mean, I think... Yeah, okay, I'm about to get hit. Boom, foot six. Stop here. 
Okay, let's go for the Bulldorb. Like, where's the teleport? The teleport is on the left. Not good. Not a good spot to have it on. Ah! I got a double kill, though. I got a double kill, though. Gotta say. It, it was decent. Maybe try the reset. Got it. Very nice. One of them went into the middle, so that's nice. Okay. Pretty decent shot. Yep. Frontline's toast. Another loop. Okay, let's go. You know what stage we're gonna loop for a million times? Oh, you know what stage is gonna actually kill us? Not even loop. We're not, loop. we're not gonna loop there. The shadow fight in Act 2. Not the shadow fight, like the darkness stage. By the way, what a bad shot. And in our bad shot. Okay. Nice, we hit a reset. Although the shot's still not gonna be good. Take damage. And now we're gonna actually do a good shot. I saw the teleport there. That's where we shot towards the right. Nice, and we won. And we won. I still enjoy the orbs a lot. Like, anything negative I have to say are based on the stage design. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's uh, heal. Let's continue. More to port teleporters. Off to the left we go. And then to the left of that. Okay, we got this fight going. Well, the good thing is that this fight is pretty much countered by us. As... Uh, whoa, what a shot! What a shot. As uh, we snipe opponents. Scythe! Attack. Let's go re-roll into 100 damage. No, yes, nice. I mean, there is no way I can go into that TP. I'll be calling the teleporters TPs now because I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go on. We got 100 damage from that. Nice loop-de-loop -loop bombes and 70 damage. Nope, even less than 70. Let's go here, whatever. Doesn't really matter if it's a crit or not. Doesn't matter if the shot is good either. Like, at the end of the day... Oh, we, we might get the damage. Nope, we didn't. Oh, one more loop. Nope, still didn't get the damage. As you see, the moment I find the elite fight that does a bunch of damage to us, we will most likely die. But I'm trying my best. I need to get a couple more level 2s here. Nice. Let's continue with leveling up the level 1s for level 2s. So that they... Now it's even better to level them up. Because now from a 1-1, one, one, they become a 2-3. So, like, if I crit, it's literally triple damage. Not triple damage. Yeah, it's triple damage. Uh, let's take the shot here towards the right, as there is a free loop on the right. One of them... No! Okay, one of them went in. 150 damage is the target. Come on! Nice! The bomb is enough. It adds the 50 damage. Okay, I mean, I didn't even realize I had more bombs. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Come on, one reset. One of you two. No! No! You had one job. Okay, here I'm gonna hit the reset on purpose. And that's the power of this orb, as I was mentioning. Like, you hit the reset that's very low, but you don't care because your orbs are gonna appear above again. Very low. I mean, very... Yeah, very low on the ground. Assassinate here. Let's try to go for the crit, maybe. Nice, we got a free loop there. Didn't get the crit, but we got the reset. So, opponents are pretty much toast. Orb's still going through. I am still missing a take the shot button. Like over here, like click, poof, takes a shot. That was, uh, I, I did not want to take that shot. <laughs> so when you click here, so when you click here, it doesn't take the shot, but when you click here, it does. Whatever, man. Whatever. I think it doesn't take the shot if you target up here. I want to see. It does take the shot. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. This guy's toast. Bombiz. <laughs> nice. 500 damage. Kaboom. Oh man, I want to see on the boss stages, which is going to be huge. What is this? Oh, they changed the orb with nothing what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> it looks awesome, though. Uh, but why is this a shield? Like, this looks like a Mickey Mouse icon, or it looks like a breastplate. And they changed also... Whoa. This was a 1-1. One, one, now it's a 0-3. Okay. Okay, the buff is too. Uh, I'm not going to take any of these. We're going to skip Roni. Because... Well, because we don't want them. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Navigation into random direction. Uh, it's literally the same thing. What a what a boring event. It might it could have flawed us wherever. I don't want to risk. Let's go with damage. Let's target the ones that can actually attack us. Let's also try to hit the bombs at the same time. Very nice. Oh, it's one of those stages with a mirror effect. Okay, this, this is like an easiest fight of my life. Yep, 700 damage incoming. If not more. Got another reset. Ho, ho, ho. 2,000 damage incoming. If not more. If not more. Whoop. Ah, uh, no. Actually, less. Uh, maybe more. Oh, we got a loop. 
Yep, this is going for 2,000. Easy guess. Easiest guess of my life. And now the game's gonna be like, no, 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 1,900. <laughs> 2,003 something. Boom. And for no reason. Scythe. Okay, this guy's about to attack, but he's never gonna take the shot off. Boom. And that's that. Yep, I should... Uh, maybe should have shot the level 1 orb. So that we don't have to go through this whole thing. <laughs> maybe I should play a time 3 speed. I don't think I should play a time 3 speed. But I have to say, the times 2 speed was definitely needed. Uh, not that we were not already mentioning that like a million times before this patch dropped, but whatever. Let's go for the reset first. There's a chance for one of those, but... Okay, both of these are dead. As long as I'm doing uh, 350 damage... Yep, they're toast. Because double damage. Bye-bye. Upgrade an orb. Let's go with a bold orb, because there is a chance the elite is going to be extremely dangerous and literally going to kill us. So let's play it safe. Imagine if this is the elite now. Okay, duplicate a random orb because game is awesome. Uh, Jackal Dungeon level 2. At at, at, at. Good thing. Good thing. The only, the only positive here. Let's see, is this another loss? Okay, it's the easy fight. Wow. <laughs> and loss would be, by the way, the hard fight, right? So you do realize. <laughs> I'm afraid of that fight, man, until they change it. Until they change that fight, it's gonna be the worst fight in the game. I'm never gonna change my opinion on that until they change it. But when they change it, I'm gonna be like, yep, it's a good fight, all right. You know what? I'm thinking about uploading, like, um, a short showcasing why that fight is bad. So, look out for that. Look out for that. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be a short that's gonna, you know, showcase that fact. Because I did a run where I, I showcased how bad that fight is. Uh, so, have your, if, if, if I do it, if I do it. If, if the, I guess, if the, my editor does it. <laughs> Let's uh, let's take a crit maybe if I'm lucky. Nice. I'm like I'm enjoying that we get the free loops here. Here we got another free loop. Loops are done. Maybe get the reset. Nice. Maybe hit the crit. Not nice. <laughs> 358 damage. Very nice. This is a level three. Let's go for the crit. Nice. And now we begin. And the portal is in a good spot. The very left spot is one of the better ones. I thought. Okay. I guess this one is one of the better ones. Nice. We got another one. Let's hit the crit reset. Now another one. Let's go. And another one. Yeah, Pachinko, wait, no. Okay, so this one is the best spot. 506 damage. Let's go for... This doesn't do that much. Let's go here. Whoa, both went down. Let's go. Both went to the portal. Awesome. Love it. And this guy's toast. Take the shot button. <laughs> Upgrade Norp. We're gonna continue making all of my jack o lanterns level 3s. Overwhelmer is useless as I'm not using over, uh, attacks at all, but crits are good and I lose life. Who cares? Let's go with crits. <clears throat> Let's go with crits and maybe we're gonna find that crits refresh the board at some point. I, I know that we already had found that previously, but didn't get it. Apply blind on attacks. Very nice. No, no, no. Why did that happen? Return to main menu. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. Did, did you see that? Like, the game literally cheated. Like, Okay, I also re-rolled... I mean, whatever, but... Why did, did I loop? Like, I don't understand why there is a bug like that. How, how... Uh, you know what? The meme time. It's meme time. How did they miss it? <laughs> okay, now, now we're fighting an extremely dangerous fight, though. <laughs> so... The orbs are now two fours. Oh, because they get plus one from the basic blade, then they get plus one from the complex claw, and then they get plus one, plus one from the power glove, so literally they counteract the Matroshka shell completely. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna be sniping the archers while also trying to go for the boulder at the same time, so I should re-roll here. I should uh, re-roll it to level 2, go for this, then re-roll the, the next one, go for this, and then re-roll this and go for this. And at that point, the fight should be pretty much done. So let's need that guy, boom, 700 damage. Okay, we got hit for 7. Let's assassinate the next archer. Uh, obviously, by the way, even though I am assassinating the archers, you have to keep in, in mind that these guys are going to start attacking us. So that means I have to now assassinate this guy, and then this guy, and then this guy, and then the no archer is going to attack us. Anyway, let's continue. The fact that I have uh, targeted orbs is obviously really helpful in the stage. <laughs> Almost went in there. Let's go. Also, the fact that I'm re uh, healing whenever I refresh. That's also very, very, very powerful. By the way, now would be a good chance to get the new Critoma loss. Increasing my damage by two each time I get a crit. Did I retarget? No, I wanted to target that. Yep, that's correct. Scythe away. 
And now we need to get a, a good one of these and that should be doing it. Uh, let's hit this so it bounces up to the crit if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, come on. I did get the crit, but I didn't get 200 damage. Nope. I got the damage I needed. Perfect. Easy. Uh, let's actually assassinate the mage because I don't want him to damage us. And the front line is going to die anyway. Okay, mage is toast. Maybe I should have used the low level orbs. Yeah, I should have used the low level orbs. They would have been doing low 200 damage. Yeah, like 300 damage attack, definitely. Let's throw this away upon moves for free. Uh, this is worse than that. And uh, let's go. It does begin the crazy shot. Wait, do I have three resets and three crits? No, two resets. <laughs> Stupid Sift be like, oh, I hit the reset and then two resets are on the board. That's three. <laughs> oh, I hit another one. So that's four. Wait, do I have four resets? Oh, I hit another one. Now there are five resets. <laughs> like, no logic there. For some reason, like, my mind completely blanked and I took one. I forgot that they refresh themselves too. I somehow have missed everything. But it doesn't matter. We won. We have won. Bye. Uh, not a bulldog. No, let's skip. Apply blind one when damaging enemies. Or the bombs. This is uh, you lose health. And this is all of us have persist. I don't want the persist. I don't want ring of rigid religion. Let's go with smoke mod. This is like up to 200 damage. Like who cares? It's kitty numbers. Is this going to blink? Nope, it's not. Let's go. The fact that we roll in the lead fight there. This fight is also going to damage us forcefully. Let's go crits. Like, we're gonna one-shot everything now, because we have a lot of a better orb, a deck. So you're gonna still see that we're gonna get hit. Because they move twice, and because there are six uh, six opponents. If either they did move twice, or if either there weren't six, uh, we, we would not get hit. But no. It is fact. <laughs> Why are these two connected? I don't understand sometimes. Anyway, let's continue taking the shots. I mean, I said I'm gonna kill them all in one shot, but... Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's still happening. It's still happening. <laughs> the bounce is in. Bye-bye. Hop, hop, hop. I don't see us avoiding the hit. All right. Let's hit the reset. Are you kidding me? That was such a bad shot. Oh, so that, that was such a good shot. Pachinko way, man. Pachinko way. It decides your fate from today to tomorrow. Wait, am I wrong about the fact that this is a forced take damage fight? Nice, got the crit. Crit and reset. Yeah, I might be wrong about the fact that this is a force damage fight. I take it back. I take it back. As long as you one-shot everything, you do not get attacked. Yep. Fair. Fair, 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 fair. That's fair, that's fair. And uh, I'm obviously gonna skip ahead here with a double hit. I also went down the portal very nice. Boom, boom, bye-bye. And we ignore. Let's continue with the jack o' lanterns. Aha! You think I wasn't going to lose life? No, I got the super boots. Wah. The sus stage. Mm, we just take the shots. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter where I target and what I do. Here we go. Damage and bombs. I mean, if I get all the bombs, we're going to be done even faster than normal. Yeah, all of these are dead from bombs. So let's go and let's start targeting the rest. <laughs> the new opponents. It's raining. It's raining. Another bomb. And now I need one last bomb. And then all of these are going to be toast. Let's target the last opponent too here. And let's go. Maybe we're going to open up this path. Come on. One bomb, man. One bomb. Okay. We got a bomb. Bye-bye. And you're toast too. Saifu. Let's upgrade. Let's go the last jack o lantern And off to the boss we go. And off to the boss we go. <laughs> Let's see how this fight's gonna go. Now, this has a huge stage, so theoretically there is a chance that we're gonna one-shot the boss just because of the loops that might happen. Like, we got the first loop, and now if it goes through here, it's another loop, and then another loop, you know, and if I hit the reset... Okay, the loops are done. Like, the left one still has one, but... Hit the reset. Nice. Hit over here. It didn't, but still, a thousand damage done. Oh no, I lost some life. Got the reset. And also get a crit. Very easy. Yeah, that should be pretty much it. I mean, as long as I get uh, two or three more loops. Um, or not. <laughs> or not. I'm blinding the opponent, though, so that's something. It's something. Let's go on. And it doesn't even matter if he spawns opponents and what he does. We got a free loop. Nice. And the hit flew off. 
explosion plus 350. Uh, let's try this shot. Because why not? There is a loop here. Nope, didn't happen. Let's try this shot. Down, literally down the middle. Maybe hit the reset, maybe something. Nope. Ah, still chances. Still ch oh, we got it. You see, that's the power of this orb. That's the power of this orb. Because it has more than one chance to actually hit what you wanted to. Very nice. And your toast. 648. Very nice. Okay, we got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, we can go Electro Pegnet, which is very mediocre in my opinion. I mean, all of these are very bad. Take two damage every 15 pegs. That, that's gonna kill us. So this is damage on ourselves on explosions. Pretty bad. Uh, Glory Suffering. Glorious Suffering is good with what we have, with the Matroshka and with uh, the fact that these things loop around. But I don't really want to go Glorious Suffering, so I guess we're forced Electro Pegnet. I'm gonna go into Forced Electro Pegnet here. Very disappointing, very, very disappointing, but uh, I mean, we're not gonna go Glorious Suffering, not with this thing. Let's see what we get here. Ah, an easy fight that can't even do anything against us. So let's just go. And now the Magnetism exists. Not that it matters, like, the, the difference that the magnet does is borderline nothing. Because, it, it yes, it does magnetize and go towards things that you want, but you could have gone to them even without the magnet. Like, it, it's not as if without the magnet you would do less. It, it's just RNG, right? It, it, it changes the RNG of how it works. Now, it changes into a positive thing, obviously, right? Because it magnetizes towards resets and bombs and crits and stuff. But wait, is that actually fact? Uh, yeah, resets and crits are strong magnets. So it obviously is above average, but it's not like it's doing a factual change. I'm gonna go with the Bulldorp here. Uh, and the reason is because there is like the shadow elite fight, which if I'm gonna fight it, we're, we're gonna lose. I, I need like to get one big hit with a uh, another Peglin. Yeah, we're gonna go with upgrade Norb. Let's go with one of those Jack O' Lanterns, 3-6, nice. Let's continue. Will I get every single one upgraded to the max? Who knows? Who knows? 1,500 life over there. Let's take the shot. Continue. Do -do 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 -do. Reds. Oh, come on. No, man. No. I mean, no. It was literally in the middle and then both flew off to the right. Do you know why they flew off to the right? I know. Because magnetism, man. I, I saw it move weirdly. Maybe, maybe the black hole. Maybe the black hole. Maybe the black hole. I'm taking it back. But but magnets also definitely make a bad thing. <laughs> yes, okay, it is the black hole. But still, magnets also affect how the orbs move. So I don't accept it. Explosions and you are both dead. Actually, no. Only the front line is dead. The back line has uh, 50... No, it's like 10 plus, uh, 10 plus 1. Is it 10 plus 1% for each number? Yeah, it's one. T it's 10 plus 1% for each number. So 13% miss chance. So the smoke bomb is a joke, right? This, this thing adding one blindness means that it just adds 11% blindness. And then uh, the next bomb you shoot, it's 12%, 13%, 14%. Like only the first bomb counts. The, the rest are a complete joke. Uh, let's go into this route, which has an elite and a chest. And uh, let's also go the big path and event path. And I think we're good to go. Let's go. And I heal this midge. Let's go. <laughs> I'm still healing on reset, which is obviously busted. Uh, I cannot retarget. Classic uh, stage design. Let's go. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's fair, though. Although, are these things damage a spell immune? Because if they are spell immune, we will have an issue, obviously. Like, if they take half damage. Okay, they, they, we, we got a problem. We got a problem, boys. We got a problem. Let's just take the shots. Maybe hit the bomb. Or not. Oh, I guess not. I guess we're not gonna hit any of those uh, six, seven, eight, nine thousand bombs. We're gonna get hit here heavily. Wait, please don't tell me that the black hole... Wow, the black hole countered the sword completely. What? Why? Just why does the black... Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, game. Okay, game. Chill. So we got the right side here lit. And uh, we, we hit a bomb there. Nice, 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 nice. I need to hit three more bombs, obviously. Two more bombs, that is. Magnet doesn't even do its job. Okay, we got, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. It's over. It's over. We have one. We have one. This guy is never, ever, ever going to be fast enough to come close to us. I even got a bomb. It's over. We win. Easy enough. Let's go with upgrade Nord because I'm stupid. Let's go with uh, this one. Continue with the damage. And let's not forget the fact that we that I got uh, 
a healing orb, which can fully heal us easily. Okay, we're not gonna get the gambling chip. I'm gonna get flung off to the- Whoa! Did you see that? That was magical. That was magical. Okay. Uh, yep, we got the force targeting here, which is really bad. Let's start re-rolling until I get the doctor over there. Yeah, of course, of course. Have you played this game before? Have you played this game before with me? Have you watched my channel before? Please, please, please tell me how many times has this happened? Like, I got specific orbs for specific instances, like this one, which this instance literally wants healing orb and bull orb, and both of them are at the very bottom of the deck. Like, this has happened so many times in this game. So many times. They need to add, you know what they need to add? First of all, they obviously want to add the shop system and they need to add that, but they need to add affixes. Like, you know, there are events that tell you uh, upgrade an orb. There should be events that tell you something like, make an orb be uh, your pocket orb. And then the pocket orb is like a positive effect that uh, like uh, uh, down here, it's like a, a pocket or something, you know, it, it's like an affix. And then what that affix does, it, it, I, I want to target the worm. No, retargeting still not existing is so bad. Like it's so bad. How can the mods have retargeting and they don't have retargeting on the main game? Uh, by the way, the reason I don't have the retargeting mod active is because uh, I think it's it also includes like changes on orbs that are not changeable. Like they make the stone orb give you defense and different. Like they have balanced the game a bit around. While I only want the retargeting, I don't want to change the balance of the game. Let's go. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, they need to add affixes like um, targeting, like the thing I just mentioned. Okay, I'm obviously not gonna shoot the bull orb here. I'm gonna reroll this because this thing has right now 22 damage reflect and the damage reflect does not work on the pumpkin while it does work on the bull orb. So if the bull orb doesn't one shot this thing, it's gonna reflect like 50 damage to us. So I don't want to deal with it. And for example, if I do, if I do 200 damage to this, I'm gonna take 80 damage. Like if I do 400 damage to this, it's gonna do 90 damage to us back. Wow, that's, that's insane. This thing does a lot. So yeah, as I was saying, Pocket orb. This orb starts always first in your satchel, even on refreshes or um, or heavy orb. This orb always is the last orb on the on in your satchel or something like that. You know, because you can easily want like you might say, why would I want something to be the last orb? Yeah, it could be the old or nothing though, uh, not the old or nothing. Uh, it could be the um, the oh my gorb, the one that says that you lose the pegs. So you might want to have it last so that after everything spawns on the stage, then you shoot it and everything dies. You know, things like those. Things like those are things that they should add to the game. I mean, I'm pretty sure coding-wise, they might not be something insane. Uh, they might be something insane. Like, it might not be easy to do that coding-wise. But still, like, things like those. Don't care. Stop, stop caring about the balance and think about how you could make the game more unique and more weird and add more weird stuff that makes the game more fun. Like, yeah, okay, Sift is like, whoa, make everything OP, make everything breakable, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean big numbers, okay? Making things fun and breakable and awesome does not mean make everything do a thousand damage or a million damage. It means make more unique stuff, man. Make things start in my hand. Make things shoot themselves. Like, make, make, make orbs that shoot, uh, like... Uh, what else has an affix? You could make an affix that is something like uh, pair, paired orb. And then what it does, it's like you combine two orbs into one. And then when you shoot it, it splits into the two different orbs as if it's a Matroshka shot. Like, are you, th th these are like things that I'm thinking out of the blue. And maybe the devs also thought about them, but at least start implementing them, man. Like, make, make one event. You don't need to implement all of them at the same time. Create one new event that just says that this orb is the first one on the shot shell all the time you know light orb you know ma make the orb light and then and then go to the next event then create the second event that says make makes an orb heavy and then combines two orbs you know you don't have to do everything at the same time but at least do one of these like at least add one unique weird mechanic like one unique event mechanic like something insane add one at a time but every single time add one we got everything insta-killed. <laughs> Let's go onwards. By the way, I'm not trash-talking. I'm just throwing ideas out, out of the blue. Let's continue. Wouldn't it be awesome? Wouldn't it be awesome if you could craft the orbs and affect the orbs and give them weird affixes and special effects and I don't know what. Instead of all the time, instead of only having the classic relic plus uh, deck mechanic. Like, we only have two mechanics right now that power us up. And both of them are RNG heavy. Like, what orbs you get is RNG heavy, what relics you get is RNG heavy. So at least give us a crafting option, so that we, you know, we can make the orb be awesome and not be RNG heavy. By the way, we lost a lot of life there, but it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we're still resetting all the time. 
And we're healing back up. Because in this game, if you have healing, you can easily beat everything. But if you don't have healing, you will most likely die. <laughs> Stiff musics, man. Stiff songs. When I hear them, when I hear my own recording singing and stuff, I always cringe a bit. But I don't know what you guys enjoy or not. And at the end of the day, I am singing because I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Explosions. Sorry. <laughs> Ugly Norb. Let's go with Enyari Jacob Lantern. Let's go down the middle. Hopefully it's not going to be the shadow fight. Upside down fight, please. Okay, or this one. Fair enough. Let's go with hit a crit. Hit a grit, hit a bomb. Look what's happening because of the magnet. Why does the magnet not pull itself up to the bomb? Back in my day, the magnet used to actually hit the bombs. Okay, these are not going to go down the same path again and again. Okay, good reset. Nice. Uh, seems like we're still going down the same path again again. <laughs> what a weird thing, man. God, I love the magnet. Did, did you remember when I said that the magnet is bad? Did this, this, this is the reason. Did you see what just happened? This thing that just happened, happened because of the magnet. I mean, did it? Yeah, this, this thing here happening is because of the magnet. Definitely. This is not how the stage goes normally. 500 plus damage, very nice shot. Of course, power is up. Powering up my laser. Let's uh, take the shot on the reset, obviously. If it goes there. Nice, it went there. Red 2, bomb 2, very nice. Now, this was a shot that the magnet was good at. But it's setting up the bad shot again. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I do agree that the magnet on general is helping. But it, all, it also has its downsides. That's the only thing I'm saying. Anyway, let's continue with the shot itself. 1000 damage incoming. Still waiting. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got the thought. Oh, another shot. Oh, another crit. Let's go. Another reset. Still waiting. And down it goes. Boom. And a thousand. Okay, if I do the same exact damage. Uh, I don't need to heal. Let's just take a shot. The resets are there. <laughs> Look at the resets trying to magnetize their bombs. Yeah, nice. When I sent the resets, I meant the crits. Come on, almost. Come on, the crit, the reset hit. Go, 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 go down here. No. Well, now we are in a set path towards the same direction again and again and again. Yep. Scyther. Let's go wherever. Because this guy is not going to survive a 400 damage hit. Got another reset. Yeah, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Ziggy zagging. It's going to go down the right side again and down the path and again and from here to there to there <laughs> and again. <laughs> Love it. And we lost a bunch of life for the reason. Upgrade Norb. Let's heal. Um, attacks gain minus one plus one for every crit on the board. So if the, mm, this is good. Yeah, we're going to take this. Like if I don't crit, I lose a bunch of damage. If I crit once, I gain a bunch of damage. And if I crit, if I hit all the crits, then nothing changes. So that's just an upside as long as I crit at least once. Okay, remove an orb. Remove the level 2 Jacob Lantern. As I'm pretty much forced. And I'm not going to get the Ouroboros. Orboros. Okay, start each battle with plus one mus, mus circle. So that's plus one damage on my non-crits. Pretty decent. Yes, okay, so look at this one nine. Hit the crit on purpose, boom. Now we're doing insane damage. Okay, uh, that's enough. Bombs, I think. Or do I need one more? Well, we got three more, so we got more than we wanted. Saithu, nice. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit the reset. And we're gonna hope it's not gonna hit any bombs. Well, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the only thing I actually care about is hitting as many resets as possible so that I heal as much as possible. If all the pops bomb or not is, is of no concern of me to me because we do enough damage to assassinate whatever appears anyway. Like, this guy's dead. Next one, next guy's also gonna get one shot. Um, yeah, so the only thing that actually matters is getting resets. And because each reset heals me for three. Boom. This guy's dead too. Very nice. Let's go for a reset. Hopefully, look at the, 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 the orb dancing. Don't hit a bomb, please. It hit a bomb. Hit at least the reset. Nice. We heal back up. And that's enough. One bomb. And a smack. And let's go. 666. Woo! By the way, am I about to... Yeah, we're about to go to the boss. Time to heal. Force pretty much. Let's go. In the final boss fight, we, there is a good chance we're going to lose. Because of all the health we lost. But uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. 
Let's, uh, we're gonna go for a crit shot if possible. Nice, we got it. Easy enough. Bomb, plus bomb, plus bomb, and plus bomb. So all the bombs are gone. And we are about to do 4,000 damage on top of that. So opponent number one is dead. Actually, is do the bombs do enough damage to literally one-shot everybody? Like, is that a thing in this stage? Or... I'm, I'm not exactly sure if that's a thing in this stage. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's go. We're still taking the shot. <laughs> I love these orbs, man. Okay, it's not enough, but they all have a 20% chance to miss. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Since when is there a mechanic that makes opponents get plus two damage boost on death? Since when is that in the game? By the way, I'm doing zero damage if I don't crit. And that's enough damage to assassinate at least another one. Actually, it's not. Now it is, though. Unless I hit another crit and lose damage. Okay, we got it. Scythe. Okay, they, 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 they damage boost. I don't know since when that got added. Yeah, the boss wasn't strong enough. Like, honestly speaking, the boss wasn't strong enough back in the day. Back in my day, this boss used to be trash. But it's still trash. <laughs> yeah, um, but now I guess they, they force you into the... I mean, that's fair enough. It's the final boss. You shouldn't be in the stage like for 3,000 hours. And the stage is like... The layout of the stage is so good that uh, it makes sense it makes sense like look at this we're doing like 4000 damage and the build isn't even something game breaking i mean we are pretty powerful don't get me wrong but still this could have all, this jack of lantern could have easily been an orb or nothing doing 0 and 13 and uh, we could have had gritomalus and we would be doing a lot more and we had chances to get gritomalus like this isn't even a, a fantasy scenario it's it's reality let's go here and guess what it doesn't matter if my orbs go down the hatch because they will appear above again. <laughs> the power of the Jack of Lantern, man. You don't care about the orb might go into the pit. Because it's gonna go up again. 1,700 damage. Tax me for another 7. Doesn't really matter. Take the shot for the reset. Or not. For the crit then. For the end the reset. And we won. We already do enough damage for lethal. Am I gonna get a 10k damage here at the very end maybe? Ah, if it hit that reset maybe. Okay. Okay. If we go to the left and maybe use the portal... Maybe use a portal. Guys. Guys. It <laughs> doesn't matter. We won. I like how this guy buffed himself. He's like, I'm gonna die with the attack. <laughs> uh, Crucible 6 unlocks. Let's see what Crucible 6 is. Crucible 6 is... Post battle healing is reduced to 100%. Okay, that's also pretty much nothing. So, yeah. I think that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to maybe see more, maybe subscribe. But that's on you. And I would like to hear your opinions on my opinions. Like, do you want? Uh, do you agree on the whole idea of it would be more awesome if they added more unique mechanics instead of uh, nerfing things and doing things? In general, I think they should leave the game as it is right now. Like, they should completely stop caring about changing anything. And uh, they should just add more new stuff, more relics, more orbs, and more unique mechanics or unique events, you know, one at a time, one at a time. You add an event that gives you the light ability to an orb, you add an event that gives a heavy ability, you add an event that combines them, and then you take all of these three events and make them into a shop system. Like, you, you just add everything into a shop, or just add everything, you know, that's how you do it. You don't go like, I'm gonna go a shop system right this moment. No, like, if the shop is supposed to make you... I don't know, uh, give you a relic, then obviously you already have that in the game right now. But what's the shop gonna do? I I'm pretty sure the shop right now is gonna do like remove orbs. Ah, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's it. That's the end of the video. I'm gonna stop talking about now. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks for all the Patreon supporters as always. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And see you guys around.